Blessed be the name of the Lord. The psalmist says, This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. If it is the day God made, it is a day to rejoice and to be glad. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. If you are still breathing, the major reason why you are still alive is to give praise to the Lord. I welcome you to this bright and blessed day made by the Lord for you to rejoice and be glad therein. The devil makes no day, he makes no night, so none of his operations is allowed to operate in your life. In the day that the Lord has made, you must rejoice and you shall rejoice and you will be glad in this day. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Good morning to you. My name is Apostle Ambassador David Longer, the lead pastor of Jesus Global Ecclesia. This day the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Say unto the house of Jesus Global Ecclesia, all those who believe in the grace of God upon the ministry and, and up, uh, upon my life, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22 and 23. It is through the Lord's message that we are not consumed because His compassion fails not. Some other version says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. Verse 23 says, They are new every morning. Great is His faithfulness. Another version said, The Lord's unfailing love and and message still continues. You need to look critically at what the Word of God is saying to you this morning. That when it comes to the mercies of God, they are steadfast. And they are the reasons why the enemy cannot consume you. And I bring you the Word of the Lord to you this morning. He says, The mercies of God, they are new every morning they are new every morning no matter what the devil tries to do the faithfulness of god to release enough mercy for you for each day cannot fail because of his everlasting love for you according to hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 the mercy seat is there waiting for you continually at the throne of grace the Bible says, come boldly, let us come boldly unto the throne of grace. And I bring you boldly with me into the throne of grace this morning before the mercy seat, before the Almighty Father, the Father of mercy and the God of all comfort, that you and I may obtain mercy this morning, the unfailing mercies of God, and we are finding all the grace that is needed to make God be glorified in your life today in Jesus' name. Therefore, I decree and declare the devil is forbidden in your life today in every area. Today is declared blessed for you in the name of Jesus. It is a week of divine favor for you, all round favor, shielding favor. Therefore, the mercy you need to harvest the favor of the day is therefore given to you now in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I forbid the devil in your body, in your soul, in your spirit. I forbid the devil in every activity of your life. I render him impotent over you, over your children, over your destiny, over your marriage, over your finances, over anything that you desire of the Lord. The devil is rendered futile, impotent. All these activities of the day over you throughout this week, throughout this year, throughout your life is therefore destroyed in the name of Jesus. The word of God says sufficient for the day is the evil thereof. And I bring you good news. 
there are enough mercies of God to obtain against any evil of each day. <laughs> I frustrate the devil. I rejoice. I'm excited to see the enemy forbidden, frustrated in your life today in the name of Jesus. And the devil knows he mustn't touch you. The devil knows he can't touch you because you are covenantly covered in the name of Jesus. Help will come your way today. Goodness and mercy shall follow you today and throughout this week, throughout this month, throughout this year, throughout your life, in the name of Jesus, you will return today to give glory to God of what his mercy has done for you, what his favor has delivered to you. You shall lack no favor today. Help will come in mysterious ways. Doors are open unto you. And I'm saying to you again and again that the devil is frustrated over you today. No weapon formed against you today shall prosper. Harvest of miracles is your portion today. The miracles you have been imagining, they have been delivered and manifested today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The covenant of sure mercy of David is released to you today. You are partaker of my grace by virtue of his covenant over my life and ministry of sure mercy. You are partaker today. Doors that will not open naturally for you, they are now open. Help that will not come has now come. Favor that would find you before now are pursuing you, overtaking you. Every step you take, you are taking them into favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory and honor to God. I'm excited at the goodness of the Lord. The angels of favor has been dispatched in the name of Jesus. Favor of God and favor of man. To God be the glory. Give him praise throughout the day. Give him worship. Every now and then, pray in the Holy Ghost. Worship Him in the Spirit. Celebrate His goodness. No evil is allowed to happen to you. In Jesus' mighty name. Always remember, you are covenantly covered. In Jesus' name. Amen. I love you all. God bless you. Do not forget to visit our YouTube channel today. Jesus Global Ecclesia. The real Christianity and you your life shall not remain the same again be be inspired hallelujah i love you and god bless you